Alright, so, anyway, I was at this house, um, earlier today, I love this neighborhood, but, so we were at this house earlier, and I get there, and the homeowner's out front with her husband, and we're walking around, and she's telling me, you know, this is a repeat customer, she's telling me everything she wants done, um, so, she's like, yeah, my gas bill has been really high, and you know we're trying to figure out why. And um, she's like, I think we may have a leak. And then I was like, You don't smell that? We smelled gas, and we I walked her over to where it was because I was hooking the hose up, and I tell her. So she calls the gas company, and um, the gas company was like get the hell out of there basically so we had to uh all right so anyway yeah the, so basically the gas company told us to get the hell out of there and i just disconnected hoses and got the hell out of there um looking for my sunglasses so we're on our way back now um yeah we're just gonna brighten up the gutters uh some of the windows rinse them down basically I like to put a downstream mix with my Snopmanade and uh, cleans the windows up really good. And then, um, oh, that's not it. And then, uh, yeah, rinse off some of the windows, brighten up the gutters, and she has patios in the back that she wants cleaned up. Simple stuff. And, uh, I ain't gonna make much money on it, but this woman has looked out for me in my business for the last three years. She was one of my first customers ever. She's gotten me all kinds of, uh, you know, publicity on Facebook. You know, this area that I love has its own group. And she put me on the map there. She really did. So I always squeeze her in um, and I just charge, you know, my minimums, you know what I mean, and I always go above and beyond, and she, but yeah, I'm gonna flip this back around, you're gonna see the way it was left, let's see here, so, I had all my cones out, maybe they're still out, yep, no, that's a, that's a landscaper up here, but yeah, so, we had to get the hell out of there, because the gas company said it was an emergency and I guess it could have blew up. <laughs> but they shut it off, found the leak, I guess. Oh, man. We're about to be there right now. <sighs> Come on, bruh. You're going to take... Uh, I thought this dude was going to take my spot. Yeah. Where we go? Boom. Yeah, this is where everything was just left out. Got my SH, Red Raider, my hose is still hooked up. So let's hook this up. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you. The shelves are still at the house, but uh, basically the shelves are going to go on both sides. And then you bolt it to wherever height your truck is. So they'll lay flush here and it has a little brace that you bolt in right there, both sides. So let me get this hose connected.
45 minutes but what I did was I that bottom window on the deck you can see how shiny it is yeah it looks good brighten up all these gutters there and there and then I hit the back emptying the tank Emptying the tank's always a good, I have a single axle, so I always empty it, never really ride with water, unless I have to. But uh, it's a good idea, you know, you can start rinsing all your buckets, your brushes. You know, I always dip a wet rag. Get it nice and wet, and then um, wrap your hand around, and then roll your hose up while you have this. It cleans your hose, and it also protects your fingers so I can't really do that one-handed but well, this will be one of the last times I'm ever rolling up a hose I got the electric hose reels now better be going on the skid oh yeah this is another cool thing solar panel I'll put the link in the description it just alligator clips to your red and black post on the battery, put it up in sunlight, and in South Florida, that thing charges quick. You see a green light, it means it's charging. And there's been times I left it in here because I haven't, you know, hardwired it yet. Because the, uh, like I said, the skid, when I'm finished building that, I'll have everything hard lined, hard wired, hard plumb, everything will be looking pretty. You know, people always give me shit about right here and here. You know. What are you doing? The smoke? Oh, the pipes are so hot, you're gonna blow up your trailer. Ah, ah, what are you doing? You're a dumbass. What are you doing? This is how people get hurt. Why is your wiring all over the place? Anyway, guys, make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. We'll keep checking out this trailer build. I mean, this skid build. I got going in right there. Um, subscribe, stay tuned. Check out that build progress. I got two videos coming up, maybe four. Woo. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. I'll catch you all next time. Stay hungry, stay humble, keep hustling.